We're gonna cook again. Gotta clean first. Cats, cats, cats. All right, that's enough. All right, it seems a lot of times that I like to try to make it like a surprise, which is stupid because I'm gonna put the title what it is. But today we're gonna make some meatloaf. That's frozen, we gotta unfreeze it. Okay, as always, in the RV I tend to do my mixing in a uh, bag. So this is hot Italian sausage. I'm gonna do two links. You can use pork if you'd rather not hot Italian sausage. You can, use, you can do whatever you want, I'm just showing you what I do. <laughs> And I'm just piercing it so I can get it out of there. Okay, so we'll set that over there. All right, next I have some green pepper, and I'm gonna dice it up really small. It's about half a green pepper is what I'm gonna use. Okay. Some of it we're gonna put in a frying pan to use for later. And the rest we're gonna dice up smaller. All right, so that's gonna go in a bag. All right, one clove of finely sliced garlic. Could use the old uh, razor blade trick. I forget which movie it was. Was it Goodfellas? The Godfather? One of them? After that movie, I swore to God, oh yeah, we do that. I'd never seen anybody do it before the movie, but like others, after that movie, I've done it. <laughs> and the garlic goes in. Uh, some onion. Some to go in the mix, some to go in the frying pan. Little stuff to go in the mix. A little bit smaller. All right, the onion goes in. All right, next, I chopped up some mushrooms. Shrooms, shrooms, shrooms. Everybody loves shrooms, even the floor, apparently. All right, YouTubers, I got the hamburger thawed. Mostly thawed. Hands are washed, and I'm gonna add it in with the hot sausage, the onions, the peppers, all that stuff you already saw me add in there. And I'm gonna get to mixing. And as I've done before, I'll spend a lot of time mixing off camera. We'll get this all melted together. I'll be back. I'll try to get a little higher view and open this up. I've mixed it up pretty well. What I have here is Annie's Organic Barbecue Hot Chipotle. Put a little bit of that in there. Not a lot. All right, now I'm gonna mix that in. We'll come back. All right, because it's a meatloaf, you just keep adding more stuff. So I got some parsley. Ooh, that's already smelling good. All right, parsley's in. I'm gonna put some chives in. Ooh, yeah, just a bit. Got some thyme, but I don't have rosemary. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. And of course, a little sriracha. Just a little bit. All right, I got two eggs. These are those farm fresh eggs. Drop an egg in there. One egg. Ah, ah, ah. Two eggs. Ah, ah, ah. I'm gonna use some Italian breadcrumbs. You could use panko or whatever you want, but I'm gonna use some Italian breadcrumbs because they smell so wonderful. And then I'll mix and see if it needs more. All right, it only took me a couple seconds to realize I needed some more breadcrumbs. Let's say maybe a quarter cup, I don't know. Again, I've told before, I come from a family that people didn't measure a lot of stuff. You just get a feel for it. All right, we're mixing again. We'll be back. Just a little bit more breadcrumbs. I think I'm gonna get it to an actual quarter of a cup. All right, one way or the other, that's it. Now we're gonna make the meatloaf. 
This uh, is an idea that I stole this part from Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. And uh, that is turkey bacon I'm going to use. I wish it was longer cut, but it's not. I'm going to lay it in this pan that this pan fits in my uh, new wave oven. Well, let's start over. I'm going to do like a thatch to it. If it was longer it might work a tiny bit better but you do with what you got okay so we got the bacon in there again I stole this from diners drive-ins and dives and I think the place was I'm pretty sure it was the green turtle down in Isle Morada which uh, is kind of cool let me do this so it's longer hanging over the edge bear with me to make do with what you got Okay, now I'm going to put the meatloaf down in there. And I've obviously made probably too much meatloaf because that's what I do. What I'm going to do down here is make a little section down in there in the center. I'm going to put the mushrooms and green peppers and onions I cooked up right down in there. I've let them cool. I know with poultry you never put uh, hot stuff into raw poultry. I'm pretty sure it would make sense the same with beef. But that's what I'm going to do. Maybe, maybe I'm going to use all this hamburger. Meatloaf for a small new wave oven. All right, hold on, hand washing time. Okay, now I'm gonna try to lay some bacon across there. Again, I needed longer bacon, but I'm making do what I got. I'm gonna across the top, fold that up, fold that up, and I'm gonna grab the lid and I'm just gonna set it on top. And I'm gonna put this in my refrigerator for a little bit to try to firm it up. It's time to cook that meatloaf. Um, if you've never used the New Wave oven before, if you haven't watched it in my other videos, I took it outside and I sprayed the crap out of it with Pam and I lined the bottom with foil because when you cook on it, what drips down can be real difficult to clean. So I do that and it makes it so much easier to clean up. Okay, now I got the meatloaf out of the refrigerator. Take this, turn it upside down, try to carefully do this. Sorry that I'm out of frame. Turn it upside down. I also sprayed the inside of this plastic bowl with lots of Pam so it should slide out. There we go. And it slid out. Look at there. Let's stay together. Well, let's admire that for a minute, huh? I'm going to carefully take that outside and start cooking. It's just been so hot I haven't wanted to grill the last couple, three days. And I did most of the prep inside and I can take this outside and cook it in the mini and this is actually if you can see down the bottom this is the mini 2 the thrift store one I'm gonna use that one this cooks at 350 so my cook time I'm gonna start with 30 minutes I think it's gonna need about 45 but I'm gonna start with a half an hour and away it goes doesn't that look wonderful these minis are fantastic and I am the proud and lucky owner of two of them but like I've told somebody in a comment recently, when I got this one, I promised myself I wasn't going to take both of them on trips. I hope I can keep that promise. I'll say at least on short trips. <laughs> if I'm going to go somewhere, like if I go to Key West for the whole time, I might, uh, I might take both of them. But I have another meal I'm going to do that's going to take both of them. It's 10 minutes in and coming along. I just say that because uh, this is real life. This isn't a fancy cooking show where they start something and go look at the one I made earlier that was actually made by like a team of sous chefs and then the art department prettied it up and it's just me and an RV cooking so we'll see how this comes out alright it's almost it's about a minute left on that first half an hour 
Look at that. You smell it. Oh, if you had smell of vision. All right. Take the lid off and smell it. Come on, smell. Sriracha, of course, right? Smiley faces. Hair. Hair. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna put some of that uh, Forger Mike's uh, Mesquite Danger. Just a little bit. I don't want it to overwhelm it. But it's a super food. I'm gonna put it back on. I'm gonna give it five more minutes. I'm gonna take a little bit of that Annie's Natural Organic Barbecue Sauce. Ooh, Chipotle. I'm going to pour it over the top. If you don't want it spicy, you know, like anything. Make it how you like it. I'm going to put the cover back on. But, I'm also going to do something different. I'm going to put some potatoes on, diced potatoes on. Let them cook. The way that goes, and the way this goes. Both of them plugged in. Oh, it's coming along. That meatloaf is almost done. I'm going to give it five more minutes after this, but I'm going to let it sit a little bit while these uh, potatoes cook up. Again, they're diced potatoes, and I got olive oil, garlic powder, and uh, Creole seasoning in them. Yum. Yum, yum. Give this a look. Ooh, looks pretty. A lot of juice down in the bottom. Oh, it's going to come out of there soon and go on a plate. I'm gonna be happy. I'm losing it because it smells so good. I'm smelling up the whole place. It's awesome. Oh yeah. Cover up and let you see. Look at that crispy goodness. I flipped it over and gave a couple minutes on the bottom just to make sure the bacon was cooked all the way through. I'll flip it again and give it a couple more minutes. Yay! Alright, I'm going to turn the potatoes off. Alright, now I'm going to see if I can cut through this. Get through that bacon. Feel all the innards breaking loose. Bam! We're going to take that in and we're going to eat it. First things first, potatoes. They're good. Now we're going to get into this meatloaf. Oh. Can you see it? I'll move it closer. Can you see it? Mmm. Oh man. <laughs> okay. Here's why I gotta be honest. This is really friggin' awesome. I think you can see how helpful putting aluminum foil on the bottom is because that would have baked on there without. Yeah, it would have been a real mess, but if you get a new wave oven, put the aluminum foil down on the bottom and spray the crap out of it with Pam. It'll help you. I'll have a great and wonderful day as I have to clean up from a great meal.